Hello, friends and family. Here we are again with our Monday devotion. So, Amen. good morning, good afternoon, and, and good, good evening. evening. Yes. So, we hope that you're ready to hear the Word of God, and we're ready. And before that, let us come to the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you for this day, and we acknowledge your goodness and your mercy upon us, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for the power of your word na siya nagbibigay sa amin ng lakas, ng direction, Panginoon. And here we are, Lord God, we want to learn from your word today. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. And amen. So we are on day two, mm-hmm. or for us, week two on Pandemic Prayers by Cynthia Yanoff, titled, Pray for God's Truth to Fill our minds. minds, Let's begin. The enemy uses two weapons against us when we are walking through hard times, doubt and discouragement. Daily news about COVID-19 probably brings you some combination of both these things. You may doubt that God is going to protect you. Maybe you're discouraged, wondering if things will ever get better. Satan is the father of lies and takes every opportunity to deceive us. John 8, 44. It is, it's important that we squelch or filter his lies with the truth of Jesus. Mm-hmm. For example, if you are starting to believe God doesn't see our suffering or care about what's happening, fight back with the truth that God is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. That's according to Psalm chapter 34, verse 17 and verse 18. And let me read that. Mm -hmm. The Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. Mm -hmm. Franklin Graham says it this way. Whatever lies Satan tells you in life, or whatever chains he has on you, you tell him Jesus holds victory. Amen. Although the world faces darkness, Jesus is the light of the world. Mm -hmm. Jesus, you are the complete truth. You overcome the lies of the enemy. Help me to identify the lies I am believing and extinguish them with your truth. Help me understand more of who you are and the love you hold for me. Fill me with a hope, joy, and truth that comes solely from you. Mm-hmm. Other scriptures for today is John 14, 6. Jesus told them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. And John 8, 44 for you are the children of your father, the devil, and you love to do evil things he does. He was a murderer from the beginning. He has also always hated the truth because there is no truth in him. Mm-hmm. When he lies, that's referring to Satan, it is consistent with his character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Mm-hmm. So let's start our um, sharing and discussion on this devotion. Mm-hmm. An important point that I want to make or share in this devotion was made in the one of the chapters where it says help me or in the prayer actually where it says help me identify the lies now the only way the only real way that we can identify a lie is to know the truth Mm -hmm. amen if you don't know the truth you won't be able to identify a lie. And the only way we can live according to the truth and experience the blessings that come with the truth of God's Word is to be able to identify the lies. So again, going back to what I first shared, the only way to identify a lie is to know the truth. So many people nowadays believers both believers and unbelievers they many accept a lie as truth simply because they don't know the truth and therefore can't distinguish a lie or they can't differentiate a lie from a truth Mm -hmm. 
An example of that is sickness. Many people accept that sickness comes from God. Some even believe that it is a blessing from God. That is far from the truth. It is a lie from the enemy. For the truth of God's word says in 1 Peter chapter 2, 24, he himself, talking about Jesus, he bore our sins in his body on the tree or on the cross that we, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness for by his wounds you have been healed. By the wounds of Jesus or by the stripes of Jesus, we have been healed. Jesus came to heal us of every disease and sickness. John chapter 10 verse 10 says, The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. Referring to Satan, the enemy. Jesus said, I came that you may have life and have it abundantly. Mm -hmm. So my point in, in sharing uh, what I shared is we need to know the truth. Yes. And the only way we can know the truth is to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. And that's why we always encourage you, read your Bible. Get, get on a reading guide. Start reading so that the word which is the truth of God can be planted in both your heart and mind. And once Satan tries to lie and deceive you, you will be able to distinguish. You'll be able to say, no, that's a lie. I read the Bible. This is what the Bible says. Yes. You will be able to identify the lie and live according to the truth and be blessed by the truth of God. Amen. 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 So this is uh, our devotion for today. This is part of my sharing. Pastor Jimmy, Pastor Arnell will also have their inputs on this devotion. And this is a very good devotion especially in the time that we are living in. We need to know the truth. Amen. 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 Pastor Arnel? Yes, we need to know the truth. And what is the truth? Of course, sabi dito, Jesus, you are, I am the way and the truth, sabi ni Jesus. Siya yung katotohanan. Amen. And of course, yung mga salita niya, the word of God, yun po ang mga katotohanan. Amen. And sabi dito, fight back with the truth. Mm -hmm. So ito yung pinanglalaban natin. Yung katotohanan. I remember that we have this weapon that the truth is the word of God and the word of God is likened to a sword. Amen. So yung sword po, na ginagamit natin ito, hindi po pang display or hawak-hawak lang natin at hindi gagamitin. Ibinigay ito sa atin ng Panginoon as a weapon na every time na merong kasinungalingan, we kill it. Gagamitin natin yung sword to cut it off. Amen. Para putulin yung mga kasinungalingan na yan. Mm -hmm. And ang daming mga kasinungalingan na nagkalat ngayon. Mm -hmm. One example na sabi ng tao, maliligtas ka kapag gumawa ka ng kabutihan. So people will try to do good things in order to earn salvation. But that's far away from katotohanan. Mm -hmm. We are saved by grace. We are mm -hmm. saved by what the Lord has done on the cross. Mm -hmm. And we need to acknowledge that and receive, receive that. So maraming tao naniniwala dun sa kasinungalingan na yun. But the truth is, we are saved by grace. We are loved by God. He knows na tayo ay makasalanan. Amen. And isa lamang yun sa mga kasinungalingan na nandiyan sa paligid natin. And we have to fight back with the truth of the Word of God. Na tayo, bagamat makasalanan tayo, minahal tayo ng Panginoong Diyos. Pinatawad at iniligtas tayo. So that's the truth of the Word of God. Si Jesus ang katotohanan. Si Jesus ang daan. Siya ang ating buhay. Amen. So again, focus on the Word of God. In encourage po namin na bawat siya sa atin, patuloy nating basahin ang salita ng Diyos. Concentrate on the truth of the Word of God. So that pag may dumating na kasinungalingan, you know it. Alam na alam natin. God, His Spirit will remind us na hindi yan tama, hindi katotohanan yan. Declare the word of truth, which is Jesus and the power of His word. So napakalaga na talaga malaman natin ang katotohanan. Amen. And again, the, the truth will set us free. Mamaya malalaman mo, ay ganun pala yun, yes. That's the word of God, the power of the truth, the word of God. So yan muna sa akin. Okay, sa akin, iba naman. May iba naman ako. Uh -huh. Yung uh, one way na ma-distinguish yung counterfeit sa mga banko, 
Hindi naman nila pinag-aaralan lahat ng mga counterfeit na pera sa dami niyan eh. Ang pinag-aaralan nila, supposedly, according to napag-aaralan ko po, ay yung totoong pera. So yung mga uh, distinguishing marks ng totoong pera, yung mga nakatago na the common person kagaya natin, hindi natin alam, meron pala mga, mga nakatagong uh, inscription o kaya basta yung makikita mo lang under UV light, yung mga ganong klaseng nakatagong uh, uh, identification mm. dun sa pera. Mm. Hindi na nila pinag-aaralan yung mga peke. Mga peke. <laughs> Hindi mahalaga eh. Mm-hmm. Kasi ang kailangan mo lang malaman yung totoo. katotohanan, yung totoo. Now, now uh, on the other hand naman, may mga kristyano na alam naman nilang sinungaling ito, na sinungaling yan to. Mm-hmm. Kaya lang, minsan, they just love to explore Like, especially nga sa panahon natin yan, maraming mga conspiracy theory kung tawagin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yung mga kung ano-anong hinala tungkol sa mga nangyari, whether it's true or not, hindi natin alam. Mm-hmm. Pero masyadong, baga, they invest so much of their time, mm-hmm. yung utak nila, est- stress na sila tuloy dahil dun sa mga nakikita nilang balita na they can no- neither confirm if it's true or not. So bakit ka mag-invest ng oras mo, ng buhay mo sa bagay na hindi mo malalaman kung totoo yan eh. Yung, yung mga lumalabas na kung ano ng mga yeah, balita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you one example. Yung sinasabi nila na yung mga ini-injection na ng uh, uh, Pfizer, mm. yung uh, what do you call this? Vaccine mm. na Pfizer. Mm. At dumidikit daw yung magnet sa, sa braso. Sinubukan ko kay Florence kasi si Florence pa Pfizer eh. Mm-hmm. Eh wala naman dumikit na magnet sa kanya. Mm-hmm. Ngayon, you know, whether true or not sa ibang tao nangyayari, hindi natin alam. Pero why invest so much time in something that will just give you stress? Mm-hmm. Alam mo naman na hindi naman confirm yan na totoo o mali. Mm-hmm. Invest your life in the truth of God's Word. Amen. Yan may mapupulot ka talagang kalakasan. Yes. Yan may map- makukuha kang strength uh, of uh, your faith, mm-hmm. your spirit, and even physically. Kasi nga, sabi sa Bible, the, the, the Word of God is strength even to my bones. Mm-hmm. So, ibig sabihin, kahit na sa ating physical na katawan, uh, applicable yung salita ng Diyos. Yes. So yung mm. ma- ako, ayaw ko nang manood ng mga balita na hindi ko confirm kung totoo yan o hindi. Doon na lang ako sa katotohanan. Eh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Stress lang tayo. Sa dami ng kasilungan yung lumalabas, talaga may stress uh-huh. ka lang. Eh. Uh-huh. Tama. Yes. Imbis na mag-focus on uh, identifying all these lies by knowing lies, yes. Katulad sinabi mo, invest in the truth. Doon tayo mag-invest. Yes. Doon tayo magbigay ng panahon. Eh, sa Pag lumabas lang, yung hindi totoo, alam na natin agad. Tama. Tsaka sa totoo nga lang, yung kulang pa nga yung ini-invest natin sa katotohanan oh. eh. Mm-hmm. Tapos mag-aksaya ka pa ng panahon sa mm-hmm. kasinungalingan. Eh sa totoo lang, lahat naman tayo, aminin natin, kulang pa yung investment yeah. natin sa totoo eh. Yes, natutupasan Tapos mag, pa natin. Tapos mag, mag-extracurricular ka pa na, <laughs> <laughs> na ibang, ano, mm-hmm. di ba? <laughs> oh. Again, the truth will set us free. Ayun, Amen. tama. Di ba? Free ka. Alam mo, totoo yan. Alam mo, the word of God. Alam mo, galing sa salita ng Diyos. Amen. Amen. Kesa dun sa, na-stress ka na kung ano ba totoo ba ito? <laughs> Saan ba ako pupunta pa? Saan pa ako magtatanong? Ayun, tama. So, nakakulong Amen. ka dun sa kaisipan na yan. So, God's word is powerful talaga. Amen. Amen. Let's concentrate sa mga salita ng Diyos. Amen. 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 <clears throat> so, bago tayo mag-closing prayer, My last words was Jimmy's words, invest in the truth. Amen. <laughs> mm-hmm. Tama. Yeah, madalas kung anong, anong willing tayo mag-invest sa maraming bagay, why not patuloy tayo mag-invest sa katotohanan, sa salita ng Diyos? Amen. That every day we hear a word of God or truth na nanggagaling mismo sa Bible. Amen. And then allow, that, allow it na talagang mag-stay sa buhay natin. Foundation natin yan. So Amen. that when lies come, alam natin, oops, hindi to ang sabi ng salita ng Diyos. Mm. So, simply that, ano na, stop na din sa mga, mga kasinungalina na nagkakalat. Yeah, tama. Amen. Yes. Okay. So, yun po, uh, paalala lang mang sa atin, maniwala kayo sa akin na tayo mismo, mga believers, kami mga pastor, kung kami nga, aminin na namin na hindi pa talaga sapat yung investment namin in, in the truth, mm-hmm. eh bakit ka pa magbe-venture sa sa 
sa kasinungalingan para mag-invest ka ng oras na makinig ng mga bagay na hindi mo naman ma-verify kung totoo. Uh-huh. So, might as well invest your, your God-earned time uh-huh. sa salita ng Diyos. Amen. And uh, talaga, may, mapu- may makukuha tayong kabutihan for sure if we invest our lives in God's Word. Amen. So, Amen. yan po, we'll pray. And uh-huh. I thank you for joining us in our uh, Monday devotion. Salamat po sa inyong pakikinig. Amen. God bless you. Let us Amen. pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for this day. Salamat po for allowing us to understand that lies are lies and wala po kaming magandang may dudulot sa amin ang mga kasinungalingan. Pero meron namang bagay na pwedeng ipanglaban sa kasinungalingan. May mga bagay naman na pwede kaming maging matagumpay. At yan po ang iyong salita. Your truth shall set us free. Salamat po sa iyong salita na aming kasama parate. We give you praise. We give you worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. God bless CRC. God bless the Philippines. And God bless all along the pole. And God bless you.